everybody, this is Chad. Sometimes you put things in your tank and they disappear for a while. And you sometimes wonder if they're alive or not. And you just have to remember that the way to find them is to look at the right time. And in this case, what you're looking at is my pom-pom crab. And he's a beautiful little guy. He carries anemones on his claws and uses them to sting uh, his prey and then eat them. If he loses one anemone, he will take his claws and cut the other one in half so that it will grow into a new anemone. So he's able to actually harvest his own anemones and, and keep them going. Interesting thing with this little fellow right here um, is just how much larger those anemones are than when I purchased him. Uh, this tank has quite a bit of little creatures running around that he loves to eat, little mice of shrimp and uh, copepods and you know amphipods, those kind of things. And uh, it's just a great fun to watch. And he'll also get up on a rock and just use those anemone to catch floating food and debris that might happen to come by. And, and then he'll just clean them off uh, with his mouth parts. So anyway, beautiful crab. Um, it is reef safe and it doesn't use those anemone to go uh, stinging fish or anything like that. Uh, they usually run between $9 and $14 um, in the store. Um, obviously things to look out for when you're, when you're buying any crab is to make sure that it has all of its legs and claws and in the case of a pom-pom crab to make sure that it has at least one anemone um, so that it can do its thing with them. Um, now I have on occasion purchased crabs that don't have all of their um, legs and things like that because obviously crabs will grow them back when they molt but the reason you want to make sure that they do have them as much as possible um, is that that increases their chance of survival. They will be able to move around, especially claws, they need those things to to hunt and defend and that kind of thing. So it's it's always a good idea to to get any animal as healthy as possible, but with crabs, if you do find one uh, that isn't in the best shape, as long as it is otherwise mobile and healthy, um, you could take a chance on it. Um, it's one of those things I would negotiate uh, the price down. I've done that with the uh, porcelain anemone crabs before and uh, because they have the protection of an of an anemone um, they generally will do okay and, and molt and grow those things back. Um, anyway as you can see um, he's on full display here. What a, what a beautiful coloration this guy has. I mean I absolutely love to look at this crab. It is a shame you know sometimes that they're nocturnal but for me as you can tell, I, I love to come to my tank at night and shine a light on it and, uh, and see some of the things that I may not have um, known were there, such as hitchhikers, or things that I purchased and had uh, not seen in a while. And so, anyway, there he is, pom-pom crab. Absolutely beautiful little crab that is uh, reef safe for you and affordable. It's also worthy um, of keeping in its own small tank if you just wanted to have a, a lovely little crab like that. Alright, thanks a lot for uh, watching. I'll talk to you guys later.